Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be probably the last video of uh, where we'll be covering the flow control statements. And in today's video, I'll be covering two or three rather uh, flow control statement. One is the select uh, and the other two are basically looping uh, mechanism in uh, bash scripting, just like for which are while and until, right? So it will be a short one because uh, there's nothing much to explain in all the three statements which I'm going to explain, right? <laughs> all right, so select is basically, uh, I, I mean, I don't use select a lot when I'm writing bash script. I haven't seen people use select statement. In fact, I came to know about select, uh, I think maybe a couple of years back. Uh, so in my whole uh, experience of like 11, 12 years, 13 years uh, with Linux, Select is something that I came to know about like a couple of years back. So it's basically used to create uh, menus, right? And then based on the option, you can actually execute some code. So I'll show you a very quick example of select. And it's uh, the syntax is very similar to for. Uh, so you instead of doing for in XYZ, or for in a list, you do select in, uh, select in, right? And then if you don't pass a list, uh, just like for the default argument is all the positional parameters. All right. So let's quickly, I mean, uh, let me show you a quick example. So select, uh, let's say I in, I'll give three names. I'll not give my name. Uh, I'll say Mark, Jacob, and not Dan, Peter, right? So select I in Mark, Jacob, and Peter. Then you need to do whatever you want to do with these names which you have passed, right? So let's say, I'll just say echo, hello dollar I, right? And done. And once I'll hit enter, you would see a menu is created for me, right? And it is asking for what what option do I want to select? And you have to pass the number which is uh, just adjacent to that option, right? So suppose I select one, I get hello mark, right? I select two, I get Jacob. And similarly, if I select three, I get Peter. But the loop is not ending, right? So that basically mechanism you have to put in your script. Uh, you can exit this out with control C. But suppose if I want to exit after this, I can simply put a break statement here, right? After just, just the first iteration. So now if I uh, run this script and say I want hello Jacob, so it will just print out hello Jacob and exit, right? So that's just all select is all, all about, right? Uh, I'm not sure how people use that in the script. I have never use in fact select statement in in any of my script so yeah that's that's all the example i could come up with all right so the next two are basically very important one uh, not next two in fact while is important uh, when you're writing shell script because you'll use while a lot uh, when when you're doing shell scripting until i mean i don't use until uh, very often but i've seen people using until a lot in in the script in fact, uh, in other uh, programming languages like Ruby, which actually has an until statement, uh, just like bash, it's, it's it used a lot, right? So while and until are very similar uh, to each other. It's just that while executes as long as the condition you give is true, whereas until executes as long as the condition is false, right? So that's the only difference between while and until. So let's see what we can do with while. Let's write a small script to show how while actually works. So I'll just do vi while dot sh, right? I'll start my shebang. And I'll set, uh, I'll give you a very basic example. I'll set some variable i is equal to say five. And then I'll just start while uh, say i is greater than equal to one. Right. Then we are going to do do and we are just going to echo out dollar i and then I'm again going to set i 
and this is basically how you update a variable which is numeric in bash script right it's, it's not as simple as in any other programming language where you just do i plus equals one right or i minus equal ones it's not like that so you just have to do dollar sign you have to open double braces right and then you have to do i say minus one and then you close this so this is how you basically update the value and then i'm done right so this should print out uh one two three four five four three two one something like that plus x y plus h right so and now we'll just execute it so you can see it has printed out whatever we wanted so that's how basically while works now moving on to our until example so i'll just use the same example with until right so we'll just do vi until dot sh and we'll start our shebang i'll just write a shebang not start not starting anything and then i'll again set a variable i to one and until so in case of until you need to keep the condition false so as long as long as the condition stays false the loop will execute right until dollar i uh, let's say it's greater than five, right? Do so dollar i greater than five for the first loop, which will be false. So we would just echo out dollar i, not percent i, dollar i, and again we are going to increment. So this time we are going to increment because we want to increase the value of i, not decrease it, right? Uh, so I would be equal to I plus one and we would be done so so the first I would be one is greater than which is false so I would be a code out then again I would be increased by one so I would be two in the next iteration it will still remain false so it will remain false until I is greater than five right so we'll get one two three four five Let's see. Uh, see it not plus x until dot sh, and we'll just run it. So you can see we can we got what we uh, were expecting, right? So that's basically how while and until uh, work in Bash. Uh, until is actually very good when you uh, want say uh, I want to do something like until not until. Say I'm copying some some file, right? So say file one to file two, right? So if this operation f is not happening successfully, I can echo out some error, right? So that's that's a very good use case of uh, until loop. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video, and we are done with the flow control st statements, all of them. So we've covered everything from for loop to if then else, uh, select while until everything's in case right so we've covered everything so yeah that's pretty much i hope you like this section uh, we'll be continuing with our shell scripting course there are a few advanced topics which i want to cover in the upcoming videos so please do stay tuned for for the videos right and yeah i hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching